show you how to do a scap Y. So David, why do we need to do a scap Y? Well, according to Merrill's, scap Ys are performed for suspected shoulder dislocations. Shoulder dislocations may be anterior or posterior. We will take a closer look at this later in the video. What happened, David? I don't know. I was flying on my speeder bike. I think I hit a trash can or something. You sure it wasn't a stormtrooper that shot you? Oh, uh, maybe. Well, I know what to do, man. We need to go to the x-ray room and do a PA oblique scap Y. Go. All right, guys. Before the patient comes in, it's a good idea to set up your room. I like to start out with setting your tube up at 40 inches SID with a perpendicular ray to the IR and we're using a 10 by 12 lengthwise. So David, which arm's hurting you right now? Oh, my right one. Okay, at this time I'm going to go ahead and position David for a PA oblique scap Y image. So go ahead and face the board for me, David. Go ahead and slide over to your left just a little bit. And we're going to turn David 45 to 60 degrees away from the board with the injured shoulder towards the IR. You'll feel for the medial border of the scapula here, your chromium and your core cord processes here at the top. These landmarks are going to help you get the scapula perpendicular to the IR. Let's turn just a little bit more. I'm going to lean you forward a little bit. Right there is good. Here's what you basically want to see for your PA oblique scap Y. Also, don't forget to shield your patient and mark your IR appropriately. Just a couple of pointers about setting up for your scap wise. Keep in mind that you will be doing this for a dislocation, so you don't want to move the arm very much. Don't have the patient reach across the, for the opposite shoulder, but you can have them lift their arm up in a comfortable position across the abdomen. That's okay. Also, a couple of other pointers about shoulder dislocations is that they account for 50% of all major dislocations and the anterior shoulder dislocation is the most common, accounting for 95 to 97% of cases. Here we have an example of an anterior and posterior dislocation of the humeral head. Pay close attention to where the humeral head is located for the anterior dislocation underneath the coracoid process. In a posterior dislocation, the humeral head is located underneath the acromion process. Using the application Complete Anatomy 2019, you can see how the scapula rotates when positioning the patient. If the medial border of the scapula is superimposed over the ribs, more rotation is needed. If the lateral border is superimposed by the ribs, less rotation is needed. Understanding the anatomy of the scapula is crucial to proper positioning.